Hi friends, I will show you a new simple and efficient dynamic exploration in this video. Dividing a segment into any equal parts. Our task is dividing a segment into equal parts. Let's make our preparation first. I need a segment first. Now I have a line segment AB. Ah, I don't need coordinate system because of that reason. Let's close the height the axis. Okay. Actually, GeoGebra has a, a ready tool to find the midpoint of AB midpoint or center. Just selecting this tool and clicking the segment gives us the midpoint of the segment AB. But as you remember uh, as you remember forbidding to use uh, some tools is a good idea to create efficient exploration, uh, efficient dynamic explorations. So, let's assume that we don't have we don't have the tool for, uh, to find the midpoint or center. So, now I don't use our midpoint tool. I don't use this tool. And how can I find the exact midpoint of the segment AB? I will use circle with center through points or circle with center and radius. I mean, I need a compass to create a circular uh, arc. Just I am creating a circle with center of A like this and I need a second circle. I need a second circle. The second circle should be centered at B and the radi radius uh, must be equal to the previous circle and previous circle's radius is AC. GeoGebra gives us simply uh, to create a simple way to create a, a distance. I am just selecting circle with center and the radius then click the center and GeoGebra asks to us uh, the radius just right here AC and I have two circle with center of A and B but with equal radiuses, radiuses and find the intersection points of these circles then connect these intersections. So this line will just bisect the segment AB. If you want to be sure you can also measure the distances AF and FB, AF and FB. And by the dynamism, dynamic feature of GeoGebra, uh, you can observe that this procedure works for every situation. But 
I have just created the midpoint of a segment we are not uh, without using the ready tool midpoint but let's think on a bit confusing question how can we uh, divide this segment into three point three equal parts or four equal parts or five equal parts I mean uh, equal part number of equal parts should be uh, any uh, number and this procedure may help us to divide the segment into two or four or eight but how can we divide the segment into three or five equal parts? Let's think on this deeper question now. Now, again, I will try to divide into uh, divide this line into uh, three equal parts. You can you 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 can easily use uh, my procedure for other number of equal parts yes just create a ray starting from the point A and don't focus on sorry don't focus on where the C is C is just uh, to be used uh, for calling the this ray, this ray, the ray AC. Then again, take the circle tool and create three equal parts on this ray. It doesn't matter the distance of the uh, the measure of the ray a measure of the radius but other parts should be uh, with same radiuses so by this way <coughs> now I have three equal measure on the ray AC and it doesn't matter how much the radiuses are and connect the last point to the end point of our original line segment which we try to divide into three parts, three equal parts let's make the original line to a uh, different color to distinguish it then using the fact of fact coming from the similarity you know similarity in Euclidean geometry create parallel lines passing through the this point on rays and parallel to the this line so the intersection point of on the line segment AB will divide into three equal part and you can also again observe that this procedure works every time works for every situation it doesn't matter how uh, how much uh, the radiuses are on the independent ray and it doesn't matter the angle 
of the ray to the our original line segment the dividing into three equal parts remain always same and you can also use this procedure to divide into any equal number of any number of equal parts of any segment thank you for watching see you again